Hello everyone, this is Jonathan Kiley with FlySkins.com. I'm going to show you guys how to make a molded crab today. This is something I thought was pretty cool. Uh, I really came up with this idea or the thought process of how to make these flies because I have a lot of friends that uh, saltwater fish for permit, uh, redfish, things like that, and I want to make sure um, they hook up a lot. That's basically what I'm getting at. And I think the more realistic a crab looks sometimes, especially as far as permit are concerned, um, you're more than likely to catch one because they study the fly, they have good eyesight, and I want to make sure that uh, we, we do everything we can as far as the tire standpoint to make sure that this happens. Okay, so I have three different sizes crab molds right now, one ot, one and two, and uh, based off the of Gamagatsu SC15 hook. Um, now they will fit other hooks of course and the body sizes kind of will determine the that, that type of hook now you can I have some of the small ones as far as the size 2 that will will fit a pretty small uh, hook for the most part the body size is uh, definitely pretty universal as far as the most part but the main sizes were those ones that I just said I'm gonna make like a fiddler crab essentially like a green marshy crab and if you notice, there's a lot of holes in this thing. Okay, so the center part is to help it bond with the hook and the uh, the lead that I'm going to tie in. And then these little holes on the side, I'm actually going to tuck the chenille in. It's really easy. And then this fly can be made in a matter of uh, a few minutes. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to wrap my hook shank with .025 lead. And the cool thing is you don't have to tie in a barbell or anything like that and all the weight is hidden inside the fly okay so I want to leave a little space there for my tie-in tab there behind the eye of the hook and I'm going to use my mono thread again it's a 3 op mono thread hairline dubbin carries this and then all I have to do now is I'm gonna go ahead and pull off my mold for the crab. I'm gonna lay it in place. Tie in the front. Go underneath. Tie in the back. And there it is right there. Now you'll notice some of the holes didn't pop out, and that's fine. All you gotta do is push them out. And then they'll be out of the way. If they stick to the the mold itself, don't worry about it. It'll be covered up by epoxy. I also use a slow cure epoxy again. If you use a five minute, it could cause it to, to curl. Plus the uh, the slow cure lasts longer and it, uh, it's a little more durable and it won't crack, especially if you bang it off something. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to add some eyes. I'm going to use some monofilament eyes that are like shrimp crab eyes. I'm going to use red for this. I'm going to cut them down to where there's about a quarter inch of mono. And all I have to do is I'll set it on there. And since the sticky part is up, all I have to do is give it a little push. And it's going to stay put. I'm going to add the other one. Push it into place. And then the next thing I want to do is I'm going to actually take, I like to do this step just because um, I don't want to knock it off while I'm trying to um, put in my chenille legs. I'm going to take some of this Loon UV right on the little ends there of the mono. Just hit it with the light real quick. And that helps hold it in place while I'm adding my uh, chenille legs. Now I'm going to use a micro chenille. The holes are just big enough to slide these through. It's very easy to do. I'm going to slide them in through the bottom here. And then I'm going to tuck, if you notice, I'm going to tuck this piece of the chenille right behind between the hook and the mold. That's going to hold it in place. 
So up from the bottom. And then tuck it behind. Okay, so what you'll notice now is that all everything is in place. I could have tied this off before also, this thread, I'm going to have to wait. Now one thing you can do, uh, you can definitely, you could trim these now if you wanted or you can trim it after you're done putting the epoxy on. Uh, what I'm going to do real quick, I'm going to take some of this loon running on the inside of the legs there and I'm going to shine it with my light just so these stay put hit the underside now this is pretty neat if you look at the bottom here now if you look at the bottom of real crab you'll see little segmentation like that as well so you can actually skip putting the epoxy on the very bottom but I always put a little bit there just to make a little bit more durable as it rides on the bottom. So all I have to do now is mix up my epoxy. I actually have a uh, dark olive kind of glitter. I'm going to use the 30 minute. need about a dime to nickel size of each part to make it uh, where there's enough epoxy for the entire crab. Take my toothpick, mix it together. Now I'm going to add my glitter. Okay. put some of this on the threads Alright, so now all I have to do is put it on the drying wheel and then from there I can trim and you know burn the ends of the legs, I can mark it with a marker or whatever you want to do. That's all there is to it.